stop putting matte products on dry skin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Natasha. Go ahead and subscribe because why not? So, as you can see by the title, <laughs> today we are going to be doing a foundation review um, on the new NYX Blur. It's not really a foundation, it's actually a maybe it is a foundation it's a blurring tint foundation you guys know tints are in skin better less is more so yeah this is what we're going to be doing a review slash first impression slash wear test on that's pretty much how i do my reviews unless i'm just so anxious to try it before i get on camera they're most likely going to be first impressions i'm going to be giving you my thoughts and i'm going to attempt to do a wear test depending on how i'm feeling and how my day is going okay also let's just ignore the space bones okay it was the best thing i can do today this week is coming off tomorrow so just ignore all of this okay if we have these videos go if you're new i will be trying out a new foundation or skin tint or skin whatever they want to call it and I will proceed with my regular makeup routine simply because I kind of have my go-to products and if they don't work with the products that I use on a regular anyway, it just isn't the product for me. And I feel like the products that I typically use are pretty, you know, pretty universal and they work with pretty much any product. So that's typically how this goes so all the products that i use will be listed down below but today our main focus is going to be the nyx blur so shout out to shanine okay because she gave me these she had some extra so that's why i'm able to do this today because they didn't have my shade in store and i didn't feel like ordering it online what's up with that um in store they literally went from like 16 to 20 and I felt like 20 was a little gonna pull a little bit too red on me Which is looking like a matching camera, but in person it looks a little bit more red, but I bet you today that's gonna be the one that <laughs> Matches but in my last video a flu a few a, flu a, flu a, flu a, flu a few a <laughs> few of you guys Said that you guys wanted me to do swatches um, I was only able to have that many foundations last time because Juvia's place sent me that many foundations Typically I will buy one I know my shade, I know my undertone, I know what's probably going to work for me, so I typically will have one. So since you guys want swatches and since I have multiple, because it helps you guys help with your, helps you guys help, why can't I talk today? It helps you guys uh, find your shade if we're close or similar, so I'm going to do that today. And I'm going to do it on my chest, so I'm going to open my shirt up a little bit for you. So this is the first shade, 18, it actually looks like it may work but it looks a little little light but i do kind of like that i like my foundations to be more on the warm side so that is the shade nutmeg and this is 19 that i'm about to put on and this is deep golden i'm assuming deep golden is my shade because drea tried it and she wore golden so this is 19 which is actually blending into my chest a little bit better, as you guys can see. This one I could make work, but it would have like a little cast or make me look a little ashy. This one looks like it's going to match better with my chest. And you always want to match your foundation to your chest. So whenever you see me putting on something, you're like, oh my God, it's too dark. Or, oh my God, it's too light. Or whatever you're thinking, I've matched it to my chest so that everything looks like one. I don't like to blend... I don't like to drag my foundation all the way down. I like to just make it seamlessly so I blend with my neck up. We're past that. So this is 20. And as you guys can see, my assumption was right. Oh, that is very deep. Oh yeah, that is really, really deep. So can you guys see that? I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so you guys can see. So we have 18, 19, and 20. I'm gonna go with 19, sorry this one matches my chest the best it's closest to disappearing 18 is cool 18 could work but we're gonna go with 19. so before i put this on i am going to give you guys a little rundown on this product it claims to be a lightweight formula that delivers up to 12 hours of hydration 
It is a tint foundation which helps minimize the appearance of pores, dark spots, blemishes, and imperfections. The blend formula helps smooth the skin texture. We like that. And it offers up to 16 hours of comfortable, breathable wear. It helps with shine without an ashy or cakey finish. It is fade and transfer resistant and it is available in 24 shades. It also has um, skincare ingredients such as glycerin, matcha, and niacinamide. You know, I gotta love me some niacinamide, okay? So those are the claims of the foundation. It does claim to be like a soft matte. You guys know I'm a glowy girl. You guys know I like a little glow to the skin, but since it is claiming to be blurring, that does make sense because matte will typically minimize your texture. If you're doing, if you're using a product that's glowy, or more hydrating, it typically is gonna emphasize your texture a little bit more. So it's not really recommended if you have textured or like acne prone skin. Mattifying products are gonna be better um, if you have more textured or acne prone skin. So what's about to happen is I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we're gonna be back. I don't know what it is you guys, but my brows just look so much better when I do them off camera. Whatever, so I'm gonna start by priming my face and I'm gonna actually use the NYX Plump It Right Back Primer. This is one of my favorites. If you know, you know. I, I feel like I like every other primer that tries to be like the milk primer better than the milk primer. Yikes. But this primer is really good. It's very hydrating. We are using a mattifying product today. So I just wanna balance the skin. I don't wanna use matte on matte on matte on matte. That is never my norm. So yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be using shade number 19, and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush. This is the little cat paw brush that they be talking about. Um, it's amazing, and I've been using this brush so much. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. It does seem like it has more coverage than a tint, though, to me, from me just swatching. Did I wipe my chest off? Yes. From me swatching my chest, it does feel like it has more coverage than the typical tint that I've been using. Where's my sponge? Um, but yeah, and I'm going to have my sponge on hand because I like to use um, a brush and a sponge for my foundation. So I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. And then I like to spray my um, Morphe setting spray. And that helps with the longevity and the blendability of my foundation. And then I just continue to blend it out. Okay, okay, so this is the initial application um, and I think it has a pretty decent coverage. As I'm looking at it in the monitor and in my mirror, this literally reminds me of the Fenty um, Ease Drops. This is what this reminds me of. Like, I'm always trying to give you guys, you know, dupes or comparisons so that you guys can get a feel of what I'm showing you guys because the chances are you guys have probably tried this already but um that's the vibe that it's giving me so it's like matte but you can still see a glow not a glow you can see moisture <laughs> because the Fenty one was more on the matte side it was like a soft matte type of formula but it still looked like skin it just sat on the skin beautifully I love how it wore I haven't worn this in a while I'm I'm gonna have to bring her out but we're talking about this but it is looking very similar and I did do a video on that like when it first came out so I'm gonna plug that in up here so you guys can see the difference but it looks exactly like that and the reason why you can see like a little sheen to my skin is because of how I hydrate my skin how I prep my skin is very important to prep your skin before applying these types of products especially matte stop putting matte products on dry skin gotten closer and you guys can see this is how it looks it's a pretty medium coverage it's not too too light and it's not too heavy and it definitely is breathable i will say that it is definitely breathable i don't feel anything on my face and that's why i really like tints and lighter products because you cannot feel it when i'm wearing foundation it's not that it's heavy but it's definitely giving like i don't want to touch my face i don't want my clothes touching my face this i feel very like comfortable you know so um yeah i i'm kind of liking this a lot and i like that it's not too matte but 
the matteness is definitely going to help with blurring any textures and not emphasizing it and all of that stuff so oh, my hair looks crazy okay so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the face and thank you Okay guys, so I finished my face and I am in love. This looks so fresh but yet still soft and matte but not too matte. I was a little nervous when I first put it on because I was like okay, okay. But you guys this looks amazing. Like what you guys are seeing actually looks better in person but what you guys are seeing it looks great. Okay, like I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at myself. When you guys see me looking over here a lot, that's how you guys know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a wear test. I do have a few things to do around the house, but I'm gonna try to leave it on for at least like four hours. I'm gonna try right now. It is 4.55, so let's call it five o'clock. So next time I come back, it will be zorked in the back. But um, I don't wear my makeup for long, long periods. My makeup is, typically on for content purposes or if I'm going out and I'm never out my house for more than four or five hours okay that's to come back like I honestly did not expect this to be like a dupe video but like it literally looks like the Fenty skin eavesdrop like it looks exactly like it like I need you guys to watch my other video and see how my face looked and see how my face looks and yeah, because I'm shook. So I forgot to tell you guys how much this runs for. This is $14.99 and this one is $32. So, I mean, it's not a big price difference, but every dollar helps these days. Okay, we're in a recession, baby. So anything helps. And if you think about it, you can literally get both of these for the price of just this. Like this is a great, oh. I almost dropped it. This is a great product already in itself. I'm not knocking it at all. But if you are looking to save money, then I would definitely get this combination. This is the um, NYX primer and the tint. You can pick this up at Ulta. And your face could look like this, okay? Well, close enough. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna do one more zoom in so you guys can see how it's looking now that my face is complete and set. So this is my face up close after it's been set and everything like that. And I do have on some butter gloss today. Very on brand, right? But um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I really like this. This matches my vibe. I thought because it had a matte finish, I wasn't gonna like it too much, but it literally looks perfect. It's blurring but it still gives skin. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy so far. So we're gonna see how it wears and I will see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, so I'm back. I checked back in, okay? It's been four and a half hours. It is now 9.32 and um, this is how my face looks. It looks really good. I feel like this is like a universal thing. Do we not all get a little shiny around the nose area? Like it's nothing like make or break i feel like that's with every product every review that i've ever seen on any kind of face product your nose gets kind of oily but my nose isn't oily oily to the point where i'm like oh my gosh like my skin still looks really good i like how the product settled in my skin this is why i love tints so much now i'm like a tint stand because they wear so well like with foundations they start to get very like oily and sometimes they'll separate with tints they're so thin and so light that it just kind of turns into second skin and looks like this yeah so this is my face after four and a half hours i did eat and drink not alcohol just a drink <laughs> um and i didn't even reapply my lip i didn't touch my face up nothing like that um, I personally don't mind my skin having a little sheen to it. It doesn't bother me. Some people like to be matted down. This is like a happy medium for me. This is like, this is good, you know? So um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, another thing, I do have normal skin. So take that into consideration as well. Most of my reviews are probably gonna go well. If I don't like a foundation, it really sucks. 
Like it has to really suck because my face kind of can take anything, you know? Like if it's super dewy, my face can handle it. If it's super matte, my face can handle it. It's all about my preference, of course, but my skin can pretty much work with any product. So keep that in mind as well. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I was not expecting this, like I said, to be a dupe video, but I'm glad that it is just to give you guys a reference on something to compare it to as far as like, the finish the texture the application the finish all of that okay so i would definitely give this a 10 out of 10 okay and especially for the price point absolutely but yeah make sure you guys check this out let me know if you tried it what you think if you're gonna try it and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye